Okay. Demonstrate. Do you think that the universe tests us? No, I do not believe that the universe tests us. I don't believe anything is a test. I believe, however, we ask for specific vibrations that we wish to activate in our energetic fields. So, um, or is it just humans trying to personify something they don't understand? Um, so let me explain this. So I look at it from a soul energetic being. Our souls come here to activate specific vibrations, right? So in a lot of people, if you're here on earth and you're a healer, most of the time it's um, empowerment or it's um, energetic integrity or it's self-love or freedom or connection. Those are the ones that I, my soul, has mastery in, okay? Um, so... How does that work? So we come here with a treatment plan. The, these are the energies that I want to activate. In order to be able to activate them, we actually have to experience the opposite of what we want to activate, right? So it's kind of like, well, I want to come here and activate empowerment. Okay, well, in order to activate empowerment, you need 20 victim chips. So you need to collect 20 experiences of victimization in order to build up the level in which empowerment can then be activated. That fucking sucks. <laughs> Let me tell you that like really fucking sucks. And so what happens if you're following that old paradigm of how that works, then what happens is, is you go through life and you kind of like, you know, whoo, yeah, I, I got a victim chip. Yeah. Woohoo. Okay. I only need 19 more. Right. And so you, it's yeah, black magic woman. It's like unlocking that achievement in Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it is. Although I do PlayStation. I'm a PlayStation girl, Final Fantasy girl here. Um, but yes, it is. It's like you've got to go through like all the side games or like in Final Fantasy, there's like a puzzle. Oh, I don't know why they do that. I hate that when we hit the puzzle part. It's like you got to figure out the puzzle and then you get to the next level and you get, you know, you get to level up. It's kind of like the same way. It's kind of like you have to have to, you know, defeat certain bosses in order to get the to get to the next level, which sucks. <laughs> I mean, it like totally sucks because especially if you're acting activating empowerment, it's like it could feel like you're in, just in this victim chain over and over and over again and you're just like when is it going to freaking stop? Um so that's you know, we could perceive that, oh, was, oh my God, the, the universe is testing us, but it's not a test. It's something that you've wanted to activate, right? So in the work that we do, because we think this sucks, right? And we don't want to do it. <laughs> what we, um, what this type of energy does is it says, okay, look, I don't want to do the whole, you know, up level boss fighting thing. I just want to activate the spiritual lesson. So how can I activate the spiritual lesson of empowerment and not have to go through the 20 victim chips, right? How can I bypass the experience? I had the couple experiences. I didn't really like it. I don't want to do it. How can I do it differently? And so what this type of energy work does is it brings awareness to what is your energy doing? So in this example that we did earlier with connection is, what is our energy doing? Where is it? Because if it's not here on the line and you're not taking responsibility for it and you're not attached to it internally, then where is it? It means it's external, right? It's left, it's right, it's been put on someone else, it's been given to someone else to take responsibility for. This energy says, okay, we understand that you don't want to go through all of the victim chips and all the victim hoops in order to actual in, in order to activate spiritual empowerment. So this is what we're gonna do. It says we can bypass the whole, you know, boss leveling up level, but you have to take great care and awareness of being conscious of where your energy is, what it's doing when it pops off your line and who you might be attaching it to within your own container, within your own self. And you kind of look at that and you're like, yeah, well, okay, okay, that sounds, that sounds okay, I can do that. But that's the process. So the process then becomes um, 
you know, you you agree to this and it is kind of like an energetic contract because it flips you into a whole new paradigm because when you are personally responsible for your energy and you're looking at all your attachments and you're being held responsible for all your triggers, um, you know, that that's a high level of consciousness that takes you to a new level that makes you aware of yourself, not only as an energetic being, but also being responsible for your attachments, your responsibilities, your triggers and activating spiritual lessons. That's a big deal. It's not like something you can just wave a wand to and it just shifts. It's it's a conscious um, path of awareness. 